Um, okay. It is um, 2 5 p.m. in the afternoon, February 13th, 2021. Uh, Linda, Aurora, and I just got back. We went to uh, Walmart. And uh, it was really uber crowded there. I got my stuff done, went and got in the car and sat. Fortunately, it was in her nice car, not her green bomb. Which, speaking of the green bomb, Nick is getting ready to take his children's for a bye-bye in the green bomb. Me, I'm going to uh, sit here, do this vlog, and then do a radio show and be done with all that probably until Tuesday. Why? Well, it doesn't look like it right now. If I took this camera and went outside, it'd be nice and sunshiny. Um, it's 20 degrees or 19 degrees out. It's not overly cold. Actually, the weather service says it's 23 out there, but I'm going by my wife's uh, temperature gauge on her car. It measures the outside temperature. It's pretty accurate. Um... Linda and I went over to the dam earlier that my buddy Jerry's building. Water was coming out of the pipe from underneath, but the top of the the water was frozen in the area that's going to be the lake. It's covered in white where it iced over. Um, the streets aren't bad at all. There is some places where there's ice, but it's not hazardous. <sighs> waiting for the rooster to crow again. I can't do anything in here without one of them interrupting. They they take pleasure in causing me aggravation. I absolutely believe this to be true. I believe the poultry yard through that wall right there has a bunch of spies. They spy on me all the time and I'm not paranoid. I just understand poultry. You do realize that they're the descendants, according to paleontologists, the modern day chicken is a descendant of a velociraptor. You ever look in the eye of a chicken? There ain't nobody home. And there's a duck over there doing something, I think, doing a dust bath or whatever. One thing about them, though, most of them were in that chicken coop through that wall right there this morning. I don't know if you can hear that. I don't know exactly what they're doing. Probably a dust bath, but you hear like that. Um, <sighs> embarrassing moment. I bought this uh, coat. It's basically a giant, real thick, fleece-lined hoodie at Walmart about a month ago and I didn't know the price tag was still under the left armpit and I'm checking out and the gal in there wants to charge me for it. No, I paid for this a month ago. And she said, would you like me to take the tag off? And I said, yes ma'am. You know, with it as cold as it is, I'm sure I came in the store without a jacket and put this one on so I could steal it. Um, it's very warm. I have another one like this that I got years ago that's brown. It, it wasn't green. And uh, I'm going to need this thing later tonight, tomorrow and Monday because we're supposed to get um, 14 to 18, 8 to 14 inches of snow or something like that. I don't know. It hasn't made its way down here. There were a few little light fluff, uh, fluffy snowflakes yesterday, some this morning. Um, right now, it's fine. Um, gonna get a sip. 
Oh. That's it. Mom, John, I love you. Everybody else watching this, I love you. Michael, Paul, I love you. I hope y'all are doing well. Um, nothing uh, of interest to say, I guess. I don't know what I'm going to do on the radio show. I don't have a script. I haven't scripted anything. And uh, I got to do it as soon as I get this one starting to upload. Well... Like the sign says, be kind. I'll see you later, my taters.